Ro Khanna spoke about the coronavirus while on the campaign trail for Bernie Sanders, and he made a really good point. Let's take a look at that. One way you can't take politics out of this is that I think Americans are now going to be looking at these Democratic candidates, many of them in a different way. Who could lead in a situation like this? Who is the person who can take us out of a crisis? What is it about Bernie Sanders that you would make the argument for? Because a lot of people are now taking a look at Bernie Sanders, particularly in this state, and saying, you know, he's the guy who has experience. He's the guy who was around for Ebola. Absolutely. And he's the person who has identified the weaknesses in the health care system. I mean, think about it. We're only as safe as the least insured and sickest person. What would Medicare for all do? It would ensure that people actually could get a test for coronavirus, that they could get treatment for the coronavirus. So I think this whole pandemic has shown the importance of having everyone covered and everyone having access to care. You don't want people saying, I don't want to get tested or get treated because I worry about the $3,000 bill because of my deductible. So that's an amazing point. I love that point. It's spot on. And, um, you know, it's an interesting thing. I think Hassan Piker uh, tweeted this as well. And it didn't occur to me until I heard Ro Khanna and I heard Hassan Piker say it. Um, you really have a contrast here between the different philosophies. Okay. What's the response from the Trump administration? Well, they say, shut the border. That's it. Shut the border. That's our response to the coronavirus. And that's the end of it. Now, that's a little silly, particularly because the coronavirus is not coming in from the southern border. <laughs> it's not coming in from there at all. You could say, hey, you got to monitor people at the airport. That's something I would agree with. You know, in a lot of places now, you're, you're doing a containment strategy where, like, you know, people get their temperature taken as they're coming off the planes from certain places because there's outbreaks in South Korea and Italy and areas of China and whatnot. So I agree, monitor the people coming off the planes and everything, but the idea, oh, shut down the border... No, that, that's trying to square peg round hole the situation by saying, like, even though this won't fix the problem, I want to do it anyway, so I'm just going to say it would help fix the problem. See what I'm saying? So that's the Trump administration response. That's what a lot of conservatives are saying. And what's uh, Ro Khanna saying? Ro Khanna's like, hey, Medicare for all seems pretty important because, and there was a story that came out recently. One guy went, I think he was in Florida. He went to go check if he had the coronavirus, and he got a, over a $3,000 medical bill. A lot of people can't afford that. So guess what? You're disincentivizing people from going to check if they have the disease. And that makes it more dangerous for all of us. The other thing, paid time off. Paid time off would make it so that if people think there's even a little question, hey, maybe I have this, oh, they'll stay home. They'll stay home. They'll be like, oh, God, I don't want to maybe get anybody else sick. I have the paid sick days. I might as well use them now. There's no better time to use it. So really, the right-wing response of shut the border, that makes no sense and it wouldn't address the situation. The left-wing response of if we had Medicare for all and paid time off, we'd all be a lot safer right now. That is no doubt true. That's absolutely true. And now a lot of people are making that point and I'm happy that they're making that point. And um, the only area where I think we could both agree is the basic safety procedures at airports and the like where you do, you know, uh, quarantine people if necessary, but contain them, check temperatures, so on and so forth. I think that's all necessary. That's stuff we all agree on. But what's very disheartening is the fact that, you know, uh, Trump released a lot of the people who were um, the pandemic specialists that we had in the government. Cut funding for the CDC and HHS. And, like, this is one of those instances where you actually do want people who believe in expertise, believe in, you know, science. And he put Mike Mike Pence in charge of the coronavirus. Mike Pence doesn't believe in evolution. Mike Pence thinks climate change is a hoax. You know, uh, Mike Pence famously argued that cigarettes don't cause cancer. So he's just not good for, you know, such a position. So you do see this seriousness gap among the candidates here. And um, I think Bernie's Medicare for all proposal, Bernie's paid time off proposal, that's what we need in a time of crisis like we have right now. Because the fact that medical care is so expensive, the fact that people don't have paid time off by law, that makes us all a hell of a lot less safe.